Hello, Familia. So I have the last chapter of Acts for you today, Acts chapter 28. Glory be to God. Once ashore, we then learned that the island was called Malta. The local people showed us extraordinary kindness, for they lit a fire and took us all in since it was rainy and cold. As Paul gathered a bundle of brushwood and put it on the fire, a viper came out of the house, came out because of the heat and fastened itself to his hand. When the local people saw the creature hanging from his hand, they said to one another, This man is probably a murderer, and though he has escaped the sea, justice does not allow him to live. Let's see, or the goddess of justice, Dyke, is what they specifically said. It said, however, he shook the creature off into the fire and suffered no harm. Glory, hallelujah. They expected that he would swell up or suddenly drop dead. But after they waited a long time and saw nothing unusual had happened to, happened to him, they changed their minds and said he was a god. Now in the area around that place was an estate belonging to the lead, leading man of the island named Publius. Excuse me. Now in the area around that place was an estate belonging to the leading man of the island named Publius, who welcomed us and entertained us hospitably. hospitably. I cannot say that word today. Forgive me, Familia. For three days they did. Glory be to God. Publius's father was in bed suffering from fever and dysentery. Paul went to him and praying and laying his hands on him, he healed him. Glory be to God. After this, the rest of those on the island who had diseases also came and were cured. So they heaped many honors on us, and when we sailed, they gave us what we needed. Glory be to God. He is so good. After three months, we set sail in an Alexandrian ship that had wintered at the island with the twin brothers as its figurehead. Putting in at Syracuse, we stayed three days. From there, after making a circuit along the coast, we reached Regium. <laughs> after one day, a south wind sprang up, and the second day we came to, came to Pate, Pate, Pateoli. Pateoli. Glory be to God. Thank you, for Jesus, for helping me here. <laughs> there we found believers and were invited to stay with them for seven days. And so we came to Rome. Now the believers from there had heard the news about us and had come to meet us as far as the forum of Appius and the three taverns. When Paul saw them, he thanked God and took courage. When we entered Rome, Paul was permitted to stay by himself with the soldier who guarded him. For three days, he called together the leaders of the Jews. When they had gathered, to, gathered he said to them, Brothers, Although I have done nothing against our people or the customs of our ancestors, I was delivered as a prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans. After they examined me, they went, wanted to release me since I had not committed a capital offense. Because the Jews ex objected, I was compelled to appeal to Caesar. It was not as though I had any accusation against my nation. For this reason, I, I've asked to see you and speak to you. In fact, it is for the hope of Israel that I'm wearing this chain. Then they said to him, We haven't received any letters about you from Judea. None of the brothers has come and reported or spoken anything evil about you, but we would like to hear from you what you think. For concerning this sect, we are aware that it is spoken against everywhere. It's today too, isn't it, Familia? Says after arranging a day with him, many yeah, after arranging a day with him, many came to him at his lodging. From dawn to dusk, he expounded and witnessed upon the kingdom of God. He tried to persuade them concerning Jesus from both the law of Moses and the prophets. Some were persuaded by what he said, but others did not believe. Disagreeing among themselves, they began to leave after Paul made one statement. The Holy Spirit correctly spoke through the prophet Isaiah to your ancestors when he said, Go to these people and say, You will listen and listen. 
yet never understand. And you will look and look, yet never perceive. For the hearts of these people have grown callous. Their ears are hard of hearing, and they have shut their eyes. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and be converted. And I would heal them. Therefore, let it be known to you that this saving work of God has been sent to the Gentiles. They will listen. So he said these things. The Jews departed while engaging in a prolonged debate among themselves. And he stayed two whole years in his own rented house. And he welcomed all who visited him, proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching the things concerning the Lord Jesus Christ with full boldness and without hindrance. Glory be to God. Father God, will you just pour down upon us all the words that we need and the boldness and the courage to be able to speak truth to power and speak truth in love and to be able to be the salt and to be the light that you have created us to be in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. Father God, help us here. Help us not to just listen and listen and learn and learn and not gain anything. Father God, help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us be bold and be courageous. And may we accept our lot as it is and to be content if we have food and we have water and if we have the things that we need, we shall be content in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I pray. Father God, be with us. Take over your people. Take over their hearts, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And turn this world upside down in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. And I believe, Father God, and I give you thanks that Acts churches and home churches, they are a reality in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe and I thank you and I give you all glory, honor, praise, and thanksgiving. In the mighty name of Jesus, I do. Hallelujah and amen. <laughs> Glory be to God, Amelia.